Hi, and welcome to this Fornav coffee break. My name is René Brimmel. I'm a product specialist at Fornav, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we are going to look at exporting and importing Fornav layouts. To demonstrate how to do this, we'll use several reports from the Fornav report pack. However, you can import and export layouts for any Fornav report from any extension using the instructions from this coffee break. To, demonst to demonstrate how to export and import layouts in Business Central, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will add a number of custom layouts. In step three, I will export a layout. And in the fourth and final step, I will import the layouts in a different database. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will work in a Business Central on-premise Docker installation with the Business Central 2020 Wave 1 release. I have installed the Fornav report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central cloud environment. I also have the Fornav designer installed on my PC. The Fornav designer can be downloaded from the Fornav website. When you want to make changes to reports that are, that are in extensions that you have not created yourself, you need to save these changes in a new custom layout. This is because you cannot change the built-in layouts of these reports. Before we can export our Fornav layout changes, we first need to make some changes to export. From the report pack version 5.3, it is now possible to easily create and edit multiple layouts for Fornav reports. So let's go and have a look at this. I'm going to open my Fornav standard reports list. And in the standard report list, I have the full list of all of my Fornav layouts. And per report, like the customer list I have here, I can see if my report uses the built-in layout or if it uses a customized layout. As you can see, all of my reports use the built-in layouts. So let's customize one. I'm going to click here to create a new layout, which will open the report in the Fornav designer. And I can make some changes. So let's make the header red. And I can save these changes and close my report in the Fornav designer and go back to Business Central and refresh my page. You will notice that this customer list now uses a Fornav BC custom layout. I can do the same thing for my resource list, which looks a lot like the customer list anyway. So let's go here, let's make this header orange and save here as well. I once again refresh my page in Business Central and you will notice my resource list now uses a built-in layout, a new custom layout as well. To view which custom layouts I have for my reports, I have a new page called Custom Layouts. If I open this page, Business Central will show me all of the layouts that I have for my reports. So you will notice my customer list has a built-in layout and my, custom, uh, my customer list also has a custom layout. And if I want to change the name of this, I can simply change this to Red Layout. Now I have my built-in layout and I have my red layout. Of course, I can uh, hit design and start designing my red layout to make some more changes. But sometimes I just need to create a brand new report uh, layout and start working on my new report layout without actually uh, activating it. And to do this, I can select my built-in layout and select copy, which creates a new copy of my built-in layout, uh, which I'm going to rename blue layout and let's start designing this you will notice i get a fresh copy of the built-in layout the header field, the header background is not red so i'm going to select it and probably quite unsurprisingly make this one blue and save this right here and this if i go back to business central i now have three layouts and if i want to select the blue layout for instance i can simply select the blue layout and hit close, and that will activate the blue layout for me. A third way of creating new layouts is to go to the Fornav designer and open a report from the server. Uh, let's see if I can find my resource list. Here we 
go. I can open the Fornav resource list, hit OK. Which opens a fresh copy of the Fornav resource list. I've not opened the, the custom layout, I've opened the built in layout itself. So I can let's make the header for this layout green. And let's save this as a custom layout on the server which will create a new custom layout for my green layout, for my resource list. So let's find my custom layouts for my resource list. You will notice I have two custom layouts. The, the activated one is the orange layout. So I will rename this orange. And the new one is the green layout. So let's call this one the green layout. If for any for any reason I decide not to use any of my customized layouts, I can also simply activate my built-in layout, which in my report list will say a custom layout exists, but it is not yet activated. And if I click there, of course, I can activate my layouts. So these are some layouts that I have now created and I'm happy with, with these layouts. I want to move them to my production environment. So how would I do this? To do this, we have the option to export our layout changes. In the Fornav custom, uh, in the Fornav standard reports page, under the layout button, I have the option to export layouts. And if I click here, I get a full list of all of the layouts in my system which will give me the two layouts for my resource list, these two, the green and the orange, two layouts for my uh, customer list. And I also have a layout for one of my customized reports, a report that I've created myself, which is a 4NAV BC custom layout. If I want to export these layouts, I can simply hit export, which will save a default .4NAV layouts file, which will contain all of the reports. If I have a look at this report at this file, I can simply right click this file and open it with a 7-zip or another archive manager. You will notice if I open this file, it's simply a zipped file, which contains a number of 4NAV reports and a content JSV and JSON. Now we have an export file, we can import it in a different database. So let's open a different database. Let's open this database. You will notice it is actually a different uh, Docker server. And I can sign in. And in my 4NAV standard reports, I go to my standard reports list and I go to import my layouts, which brings up a choose my file and I will choose the, uh, the Fornav layouts file that I've just created and hit open which brings up the layout import worksheet. In the layout import worksheet I get a list of all of the report layouts that I have in my export. You will notice I have a uh, list, uh, I have a custom layout for my custom report. Um, the import action is skipped because the report doesn't exist in this particular database. So I'm happy with that. I don't have that report layout. Then I have my customer list and resource list. Both have two layouts. And let's say I don't need to import the red layout, but I do want to import the rest of it. So when I'm happy with my choices, I, I hit import. And when I refresh the page, you will notice my customer list now has the blue layout selected. And if I go to the custom layouts, you will notice I have the built-in layout and the blue layout because I didn't import the red layout. And in my resource list, I have my orange layout and my green layout. So let's recap what we just did. We have created some custom layouts for our Fornav reports, both by copying or by creating new layouts from the Fornav designer. We exported these layouts, and I showed you we can import them and choose which layouts to import in a different database.
So thank you for listening to me so far. I see we don't have any questions, so I will proceed with wrapping up this data, this uh, webinar. If you want to know more, you can go to fornav.com, uh, and at fornav.com you can download the Fornav Designer as well. If you want to try out Fornav in Business Central Cloud, you can download Fornav, the Fornav Report Pack from the Microsoft App Source. And if you want to see more of these videos or some other getting started videos, please visit the Fornav YouTube channel. And if you have any questions after this webinar is open, please send them to support at fornav.com. We will continue these uh, coffee breaks. And if you go to fornav.com slash coffee break, you will see a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks. And if you know any topics for future coffee breaks, please let us know. And you will too win two fantastic prizes. The first, of course, is a coffee break about your topic. And the second is a 50 euro or dollar gift certificate as a thank you. With that, thank you very much for listening, and I will see you at the next coffee break. Goodbye.